what is up and this time I have another hardware review for you and this is the NATO a collab between Vapor Clouds and Asylum Mods this is an older device but I've managed to get my hands on it so we'll drop down we'll see what's in the box we'll come back up and I'll give you my views catch you in a minute Right then guys, we are down low with the NATO. This is a joint effort from Asylum Mods and Vapor Clouds. Well, Vapors Cloud. So on the back of your box, you'll have all the relevant information you'll need. Pretty much all the basics, pretty much everything you'll need to know. Uh, box has a magnet door, but it is a cardboard box. But again, nice clicky magnets to keep it nice and closed. As soon as you open your box, you'll be greeted with a instruction manual. Uh, please read before use. As I said, you're better off doing that if you don't know mech mods as well, or if this is your first mech mod. Inside the box, uh, very, very basic. You will get your tube in a plastic wrapper. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so for those of you who want to know, the NATO is a 25mm. It will take uh, 18650, it will take 2650, 2700s and 21700s. So it has a screw off, uh, non-hybrid by the way, but this is a kind of a sprung 510, but it's sprung from the bottom. So... It does come with an extra part to go in here if you are using 18650s and it's got venting at the top as you can see quite clearly there. So inside your mod will come with the other part as I said this is for your smaller batteries so you can swap them around. As I said this is sprung so it will kind of alter itself but just make sure that there is no battery rattle when you, you're setting this up. So as you can see these are that look silver plated okay so the interesting bit for me about this mod uh, is this bit here as you can see really nice engraving NATO and Asylum mods but the button is a little bit different than everyone else so when you're unscrewing it just be careful this doesn't fly everywhere because there is a spring in there So let's grab the uh, dead rabbit and drop a build on this and we'll speed this up a little bit for you guys and I'll see you up top.
So as you can see that's some uh, nasty coils from Nasty Coils himself and some Stella Cotton which are the my channel sponsor and some Riot Squad so let's jump back up top and I'll give you my thoughts and my views on this mechanical mod from Vapors Clouds and Asylum Mods. It's a stunning bit of kit, it really is. Let's go. Right then guys, change of cam today. Uh, just gonna try this out, might be a bit easier. So we are back up on top with the NATO from Asylum Mods and Vapor Cloud. Vapors, Cloud, Vapor Cloud, whatever you wanna call it. So, mech mods. A uh, lot of you will know I'm a big mech mod fan. Uh, I use them pretty much all day, every day. This was a big hit about two years ago when this came out. Now there's a reason I'm bringing this up now is because one of my sponsors of my uh, photo side of things is Shady Vaping. He has managed to get some stock on these, which is at a terrific price. Now, we'll go over that first. So, if you want to grab a bargain while you can, you can. Uh, so, just to give you a rough guide, at the moment, these are available at vaporbar.co.uk and they are priced up at £120. Uh, last time I checked Shady Vaping, these was up at 29 99 That's the tube, not the tank, not the dripper, just the tube. And it's the same on uh, Vapor's Bar. At 29 this is a steal, absolute steal. <coughs> uh, let's run through some specs with you while I have it up on my little note screen here. So it's a 25mm non-hybrid tube mod. It will take 18650, 2650, 2700 and 21700. I've been running mine in 2700 on some iJoys. Uh, again, there isn't much you can say about a mech tube. So this has a floating 510, uh, a sprung 510, sorry. Uh, Depends what way you want to look at it. It does come with two pins which alternates so you can use various batteries. Uh, what shines for me with this is that switch. Uh, yeah, I uh, drop my mod and give it a beating. But that is the perks of this price. Uh, this can be your, your daily carry. You're not going to be too fussed about knocking about 30 pound tube compared to some of the which way that way you know some of the bigger more expensive tubes uh, <clears throat> if shady vaping haven't got an offer on and they haven't got this on a deal feel free to use my code the right man 10 that will get you 10% off their whole website that is included endless mods uh, if you're a mech fan and you don't own the endless dirtier why not you should do by now uh, there is a review up on the page go and check it out after this one that is a killer mod. But anyway, back to this one. Uh, right, so as I said, the top comes with two pins, so you can use two different types of battery. Uh, the switch on this, I absolutely love. It is a ball bearing on the spring, which pushes a plate onto the bottom of the battery. The plate has quite a wide mass, which means that it's better contact, there's less arcing, which ultimately it's you know, better, well, less voltage drop, which gives you a better, faster vape. Now as most of you know, if you're watching this, you're obviously a mech fan. Uh, mechs, the mainly design when you build, it depends how you want to vape. I'm quite a, uh, a low builder. Uh, I like my low builds. This is running uh, 007 at the moment. And I am running the new right squad, which is the focus. No, we're not gonna focus, oh well. The new right squad range, so that's their PHT. Uh, that'll be coming up for review and photos soon, and that stuff is amazing. Uh, yeah, at that price, what Shady Vaping are doing these at, that's, it's chuck away money compared to the original price. I know there is limited stock. I know uh, 
they have been selling quite quick so whether we'll have some left by the time this video goes up I do not know I've had this in there for 10 weeks uh, it wasn't sent me for the purpose of the review uh, but I thought I'd review it anyway the edging there is bang on to fit your finger across whichever way you want to fire this thing is comfy uh, as I said I've been using this as my daily met carry For the simple reason is, as I said, to carry it, what will be classed as quite a high end mod. I mean, in my eyes, anything over 80 quid is high end. You know, it's people want to save money by vaping, and that's that's what we all intend to do. But to pick up that tube at that price is absolutely amazing. Really, really, really wicked tube. Uh, as I said, with met mods, there's not a lot you can go into. Uh, they are very basic. One thing I will say, and I will say on every single mech review I do, before even thinking about buying a mech, if you haven't used a mech yet, or you don't own a mech, make sure you know your arms laws, make sure you know your battery safety, make sure you look after your batteries, because a lot of people are scared on using mech mods when they shouldn't be. All it is is common sense. If you, if you do things correctly, uh, and you're, turn into a hobbyist vapor these things are they're wicked they are really really good uh, again always make sure you're being safe if there is any questions there are loads of people on social media not just myself many other people uh, who will gladly help you you know they'll, they'll guide you through the best ways to do things uh, as i said at the moment i'm running some uh, 007 fused claptons i believe yep not fused uh, I believe they're my own ones, but yeah, as you can see from the actual when it clears, uh, it is an amazing mod, really, really good mod, uh, a really, really good quality tube. Mine is a bit knocked up, but as I said, I've had it 10 weeks, and this has been my daily chuck about carry, so I've not exactly looked after it. It's compared to some of the mods up there, it, it's my idea of a cheap tube. And again, that's a great thing about them. Uh, as I said, Shady Vaping, they're a company who I support and got a lot of time and love for. So if you do go across there, don't forget, use Vape Man 10, that runs across their whole site. And uh, yeah, show some love to them because they are really, really cool guys. They're on all different types of social media, so go and drop them a follow as well. Uh, other than that, the only other thing I have got to say about this one is the co cotton I was using was from Coolwick over in America. This is thanks to my channel sponsor who is there, uh, Viber Vape himself. He is available on Twitter. If not, it's vibervape.com, I believe. Maybe .co.uk. I'll double check and drop it in the comments. But uh, yeah, another good little online store. He's a very, very little business, so go and check him out, see what he's got on offer over there. Uh, that cotton is amazing stuff. As I said, I will not use it unless I genuinely use it. So other than that, I'll catch you on the next one.